Hey everyone, welcome back to Season 2 of the Beginner Series, where we are on Episode 40 overall and Episode 10 in Season 2, where we are currently sitting on 19 Diamonds and 15 Rare. You guys voted, and you voted for Silver Ridge. It wasn't a surprise to me, but you blew the vote away, and it was a massive vote. More votes this week than last week even. I thank you for that. Much appreciated. We'll go ahead and check our inventory here. As we all know that Silver Ridge was reset, so we do not have any zones, as you can see. This is where we started the beginner series, and it was the only one that hadn't been reset yet. So we have this, and should have three more maps to finish out for Season 2. But we do not have any zones, and that's a lot of excitement for me. I'm pretty pretty excited about that. But as far as our inventory, we do have our night vision goggles on us. We have our tents to keep us moving, obviously, when we need to. Our 22 will cover our turkeys. And then the 338 is going to be for our Plains Bison, Rocky Mountain Elk, and Black Bear. I'm really enjoying the 338. It's getting a lot of penetration, and... Uh, I like to be precise and take that one shot anyway. We're not here to grind, so it works really well. Our regular binos and then our 308, which is going to cover our mule deer, mountain lions, bighorn sheep, and mountain goats, as well as a pronghorn if we want. And then we have our 243 pistol, and we brought our 10 millimeter Devani, our little Glock there, just for a little defense purposes. But we do want to level up our handgun as we go. We're getting pretty close to getting those higher level 454 bullets and that is why I have them included. So we are here finally and we're about to go set some tents up in the northwest corner. That way we can go ahead and restart our day and get started with the Rocky Mountain Elk in the morning for their drink time. I appreciate you taking the time to click on the video to watch. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. Big one. Oh, not quite big enough. Nice one though. Yeah, figured they got spooked by that mountain lion. What? No. <laughs> I, this is the first lake I just came to after I set, I set two tents up here, set the time, Came here, and we've got a rare <laughs> elk. Nice initial spawn. Oh my goodness. Oh, we got some over here too. Uh, with I really don't want to risk. Maybe we'll just take them from here. Let's see what's this. 266, such an odd range. Maybe we can go up here and get a better angle on them. Take a long shot, that way we don't risk it. I don't mind, yeah, there they go. Where's your mail at? I heard him. This is a really good lake now, right here. The one that used to fall through the floor on the last update. It is really good for elk. There's a lot of them up here. All right. Let's see if we can get get him broadside or quartering at least. Cause I know when we get closer, all the weeds and stuff around the lake are gonna be in our way. So. We can get a nice clean shot from up here, right here. Perfect, 300, double check. Nice. He's not quite as big as the one we got um, in the competition series a couple weeks ago, but what a great start to this map. Right, here we go. That scares me. Did I just spine him? Luckily it wasn't a diamond, but... Ah, oh, I didn't mean to shoot that high. I just pulled... Pulled the trigger too quick. Hopefully it caught the top of the lung, though. Let's hope. 
Oh, Pinkos for sure, yep. I mean, we knew that, but looks great. Let's get him picked up. He is a silver, and we did get the top of the lungs. We did not drop him, drop him. Nice albino, right out of the gate. The very first animal we took off of Silver Ridge, an albino Rocky Mountain Elk. How crazy is that? We did get him right at the top of the lung. Whew, that was close. Almost messed him up, made him a bronze. But silver good enough. He's much smaller than that gold we got a couple weeks ago, but you cannot complain. It's a nice rare to add to our, our beginner series for sure. Um, nice piece of the collection. We just got started. Hopefully this is foretelling the future of this map for us. Fingers crossed. Don't want to jinx ourselves. <laughs> Look how pink those hooves are. That's nuts. Damn. <laughs> Come running down here. I checked his group. Oh, good deal. Good deal. I checked his group here. And I didn't see anything good, so I ran down here to check the rest of the lake. One ninety one, that's pretty good. I don't want to take a front end shot though. Four twenty two to five oh nine and they need to be four eighty one. Oh good deal. Change our range up, didn't he? That's all right. He can get right in our pocket. 100 yards. We'll take it. Stand right there. That's a 338 in the heart. Should be. Wow. So I checked these two lakes, and then now I'm here. The elk are paying off if this makes it. Did we get our first diamond of the map or our first troll? Hmm. I don't think he made it. <laughs> he did! 500.78. Nice. Gosh. I. I just don't know these elk well enough yet. I just, he looked kind of thin. I mean, he's long and wide, but I thought he was a little thin. We'll take it though, 500.78. He's a 1047 and their max weight is 1058. So we're about 10 pounds off of max weight, but we did break 500, which is 19 over diamond so as you can see they are 481.41 so wow I only had a handful after this reset I did really good on the main account checking it on there had a lot of luck with that and then right off the bat here we are that is awesome I know a lot of people are gonna start seeing out because they're gonna start setting up for those super rare grinds I saw people doing so that's great but for us in this account and what we're doing we're all about the initial spawn so we're finding them and I'm very happy with that we just got started holy cow I didn't ever looked over here before and I just as I was running around to pick those guys up Oh that one <laughs> I thought no way uh, Let's go with this guy here 234 we're ready to roll Man, Let's hope he can make it That's a 
good hit. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> but we'll see. Let's grab these guys first on our way around. Well, there he is, fingers crossed. Maybe a second diamond elk. Uh, let's see. Yes, 484.52, much smaller than the first one, but a diamond nonetheless. Two diamonds and a rare in the Rocky Mountain Elk. Two diamonds and a rare, and I haven't checked all their zones yet. What a reset for us. That's insane. They are, again, 481.4, so he's just barely over, but... Wow. Get out there and check your Silver Ridge. I know most of you have, but holy cow. Man, they're a lot more fun now that you can see them in the daylight and they actually have a decent drink zone time. Might have ruined the great one black bears for me, but the elk definitely made a recovery. All right, everyone, that's where we're gonna have to leave at least part one of Silver Ridge, which is episode 40, episode 10 in the second season. And we will stop there as there is probably too much to do. I've got too much left to check and we'll fill that in with the next episode. However, on this episode, we did come away with our awesome albino Rocky Mountain Elk and our two diamond Rocky Mountain Elk as well, which brings our diamond total in season two to 21 and our rare total to 16. That was a very crazy episode just getting through the Rocky Mountain Elk drink zones. Uh, had a lot of fun doing that. I can't believe it happened that way, but I am not going to complain. So I look forward to the next episode, which will be the second part here on Silver Ridge and its conclusion for season two. Let's hope it pays off as well as this one did for sure. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to stay notified and shoot the like button to help others find the channel. If you didn't, thank you for watching this long. Back to work on part two of here on Silver Ridge. Until then.